Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning everyone So today we continue our lesson on Digital Electronics Chapter 6 Combinational MSI and today is the last part of Chapter 6 which is concerning about Adders and Comparator So at the end of today's lesson you will be expected to know what is the function and how to operate the Adders and Comparator and you will also know how to design the Adders and Comparator circuit so without further ado, let's continue. So this is the last part of chapter 6, which is related to the comparator. So what is actually a comparator? So a comparator is used to compare the magnitude of two binary quantities to determine the relationship of those quantities. So in our daily life, we always compare two different things at a time. So mainly, we compare things because we wanted to know what is the relationship between the objects or the things that we want to compare. So similar to the comparator inside digital circuit. So it is generally used to compare two different variables in, for example, in equality. It is greater than or it is less than the number required. So as learned in chapter 3, the exclusive NOR gate can be used as a basic comparator. So in this topic, we are using exclusive NOR gate as the comparator. So this example shows how comparator works where X NOR gate is being used. So in this situation, we are using, we are compare the same number. For example, A is equals to zero, B is equals to zero. So X no gate will give an output of 1. So how X no gate give the output of 1 if the input is the same? Let's take a look at the equations of the X no gate. So this is equation of the X no gate where A bar multiplied by B plus A bar multiplied by B bar with the full bar. So in order for us to investigate how the output of the x nor function give the output of 1 when the input are similar let's substitute the value of 0 for a and b inside this equation so when we substitute the value of 0 so it will become 0 bar multiplied by 0 plus 0 multiplied by 0 bar with the full bar and then it will become 1 multiplied by 0 which is equals to 0 plus 0 multiplied by 1 which is also equals to 0 so finally, it will become 0 bar and the final answer will become 1 because 1 is the complement of 0. So what about if the input are not similar? So if the input is not similar, for example, A is equals to 0 and B is equals to 1, the output for the X nor gate will become 0. So in order for us to investigate how the output will become 0, we just use the same method that we are using before by substitute the value of 0 and 1 inside the equation. So when we substitute, it will become 0 bar multiplied by 1 plus 1 multiplied by 0 bar with the full bar. And then it will become 1 multiplied by 1 plus 1 multiplied by 1. So equals to 1 bar and finally the answer will become 0 because 0 is the complement of number 1. So generally what we can say that in comparator by using X nor gate, if the input is similar, the output from the gate will become 1. And if the input is not similar, the output from X nor gate will become 0. Okay. So previously I show you the example of comparing two different variables with each variable has a total size of 1 bit. But what about if one variable has a total of 2 bits? So if we want to compare the variable that containing 2 each bits, so we need an additional exclusive no, not, and also end gate. So this is the example of the, what we call the comparison that is conducted by two variables with each variable contains of two bit number. 
So we have binary number A that consists of A1 and A0 where A0 is equals to LSB and A1 equals to MSB. And also we have binary number B which is B1 and B0 where B0 equals to LSB and B1 equals to MSB. So in order for us to conduct the comparison, we need a total of three gates. We have one XNOR gate and the second XNOR gate and also we have N gate here. So for example, if A0 and B0 are equal to each other, so the output from XNOR gate will become 1. And similar to the MSB part, when the A1 and B1 is similar, the output will become 1. And when uh, the output of 1, we go through the N gate, A1 will be multiplied by 1 and it will equal to 1. So, for the comparator, if the output is equal to 1, it is indicate high. So, high indicates equality. So, the output indicate 1 is equality, while the output of 0 is inequality. So, in conclusion, if you have the output of 1 from the comparator, it is equal to each other. And if the comparator output is equal to 0, it means that the inequality has been occurred. So you must remember, in order for you to conduct the comparison of two different variables with a total of two bit number, you must compare each and what you call each digit with the same what you call significant level. So this one is the same significant level, which is the least significant level, and this one is the most significant level. Next, I will show you the IC which is used as a comparator. So in addition to equality output, many IC comparators, for example, 74x85, provide additional output that indicate which of the two binary numbers being compared is the larger. That is, A is greater than B and A is less than B. So despite what we call we compare A is equals than B, we also compare A is greater than B or A is less than B. So in order to do that comparison, IC74X85 is usually used. So as you can see from the IC pin configuration, where it has a total of 4 input A and 4 input B. So it means that this IC it is used to compare two different variables with each variable has a maximum bit of 4. So, the output from this comparator, it has three output, which is A is greater than B, A is equals with B, and A is less than B. So, to determine the inequality of numbers A and B, first, we must examine the highest order bit in each number. So, if A3 is, great, is equals to 1 and B3 is equals to 1, it means that A is greater than B. So, the output A is greater than B will become 1, and the other output will become 0. And if A3 is equal to 0 and B3 is equal to 1, it means that B3 is greater than A3. So the output of A is less than B will become 1 and the other output will become 0. So in the third situation, if A3 is equal to B3, then the IC comparators with the model of 74x85 it will examine the next lower bit position for an inequality. For example, if A3 is equal to B3, it then goes to the lower order bit, which is B2. So B2 will be compared with A2. So if B2 and A2 is equal, it will go to the lower order, which is A1. So A1 will be compared to B1. So if A1 is equal to B1, it will go to the lowest order which is A0. So if A0 is equal to B0, and then A equals to B will become 1, and the other output will become 0. Now, I will show you the truth table for the comparator 74x45 to help you to further understand the, what you call, how the IC74x85 works. 
Okay, so this is the truth table for the 74x85 comparator IC. So as you see from the uh, the truth table, it shows that it has a total of four inputs. So it means that for this truth table, it shows you the example of computing the two-bit comparison of two different variables. So for the first example, I will show you uh, the example when a1 is equals to 0 and b1 is equals to 0. So from this comparison, it means that a1 is equals to b1. So what we need to do next is we need to compare the lower bits. So for the lower bits, we compare a0 with b0. So a0 is equals to 1 and b0 is also equals to 1. So from this statement, you can say that a1 is equals to b1 and a0 is equals to b0. So from this, we can get the output of a is equals with 2b will become 1 and the other output will become 0 because both what you call same level of the significant bit is equal to each other. So next, the next example I will show you when a1 is equals to 0 which is the most significant bit and b1 is equals to 1. So by this comparison we can say that a1 is less than b1. So for the next action we don't have to do any more action because the output of the comparator will become a is less than b because it only took the higher significant bit if there is no in what we call there is no equality in the input. So it doesn't matter what is the what we call input of a0 and b0 the output will still become a is less than b it will become 1 and the other output will become 0. Okay, for next example, so next example, for uh, as usual, we need to compare the most significant bit first, where a1 is equal to 0 and b1 is equal to 0. So now, what we need to do is we need to compare the lower bits because equality is happening. So we compare a0, which is equal to 1, but b0 is equal to 0. So it means that a1 is higher than b0. What do you call? I'm sorry. A0 is greater than b0. So from this statement, you can say that A is greater than b will become 1 and the other output will become 0. So from this truth table, find the logic expression for f1, f2 and f3, which is f1 is equals to A equals to b f2 is a is greater than b and f3 is a is less than b. So to find the what you call expression for f1, f2 and f3, we need to use kmap because it is quite complicated for us to use the truth table directly. So we will get the equations of a equals to b, the output will become a1 bar, a0 bar, b1 bar, b0 bar plus a1 bar, a0, b1 bar, b0 plus a1, a0 bar, b1, b0 bar, plus a1, a0, b1, and b0. For a greater than b, it will you will have the output of a1, b1 bar, plus a0, b1 bar, b0 bar, plus a1, a0, b0 bar. And for a is less than b, you will get a1 bar, b1, plus a0 bar, b1, b0, a1 bar, a0 bar, and b0. So by using kmap, you will get this expression for each and each what we call each output a equals to b a equals to b a is greater than b and a is less than b so next i will show you the last example of uh, this uh, section which is the comparator so the example given as the waveform are applied to comparator as shown so determine the output a is equals to b waveform so this is the waveform which is given for this question so we have input of A0, A1, B0, and B1. So it means that this comparator compare two different variables with each variable has a size of two bits. Okay, so they ask you to determine the output of A is equals to B. So it means that you need to know what is the expression of A equals to B. So first we need to divide it into one two three four five five different segment and we need to observe what is the input of each segment so that we will be able to get the output 
So let's continue. So the first segment shows that A is one, A zero is one, A one is one, B zero is zero, and B one is one. So by using the previous procedure that I've been explained, you need to compare the most significant bit first. So in this question, the most significant bit is B one and A one. So when we compare B one and A one we will get B1 equals to A1. So what we need to do next is we need to compare the lower significant bit which is A0 and B0. So when we compare A0 and B0, A0 is equal to 1 but B0 is equal to 0. It means that A1 is not equal to, I'm sorry, A0 is not equal to B0. So the output that you will get for A equals to B will become 0 because a0 is not equals to B0. So next, we go to the next segment where we need to compare A1 and B1 first. So here, we see that A1 is equals to 0 and B1 is equals to 0. So it means that A1 equals to B1. Okay? And then we compare the lower significant bit which is A0 and B0 when A0 equals to 0 and B0 is equals to 0. So it means that A0 equals to B0. So in this situation, you see that A1 is equals to B1 and also A0 is also equals to B0. So you get that in what we call the equality that you want to get inside the A equals to B. So you can conclude that in the second segment, the variable A is equals to the variable B. So it will become 1. So you continue the next step where you observe the segments so you compare B1 and A1 you see here B1 is not equal to A1 so it will automatically will become 0 because the inequality has been occurred so next when you compare A1 and B1 it is equal to each other but A0 and B0 it is not equal to each other so the conclusion is the output of A equals to B will become 0 and finally you observe the what you call uh, A1 and B1. You see here, A1 is 0 and B1 is 1. So it means that A1 is not equal to B1. Therefore, A is not equal to B. So the output will become 0. So from this example, I'm sure that you will know how to compute what you call the comparison by using the comparator inside the digital circuit. What you need to remember is, you need to know how to compare each input. Uh, what do I mean by that is, you need to compare the most significant bit first. And if the comparison of most significant bit is equal to each other, then you need to compare to lower significant bit. But if the comparison of the most significant bit is more than uh, each variable or less than one of the variable so you will directly get the answer so you don't have to compare to the lower bits so that's all for today thank you